Say hello to Zoe. Please welcome in Lorenzo Falatea. Good to see you. How are you? You good? All right, first things first. I see that you're wearing a t shirt that appears to have a little someone special. What do we have here? Oh, this is my, my grandmother on my father's side. Her name was Senga. Oh, she just barely had her, her tenure of her passing in uh, 2012, last month. So we just had a big celebration. So I decided I'd honor her since it's been 10 years ago. Just decided to throw on the shirt today and wear it for you guys. So it's very thoughtful. Yeah, yeah nice. Did you bring anybody with you tonight? Yeah, I brought my beautiful wife. It's, she's right here in the corner. Yeah, I brought my beautiful wife with me. Uh, all my family's uh, my family is supporting my little sister in a playoff volleyball game. Okay. <laughs> back in back home, so I, I told them, to, you know, be with my little sister, watch her game since they always come to mind. So watch her game and then tune in after. But you got your spouse in the stands tonight. Yeah, I got my there we go. The there we go. She's yeah. on camera now. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Chestina. Thanks Chestina for coming. Fine. What's that? Good to have you here. Yeah. <laughs> So I mentioned this is your sixth season of actual playing football here at BYU because uh, there have been some injuries involved and, and so it's kind of lengthened things out. How well do you remember your first game back in 2017? Oh, I, re I remember it very well. I think my first game was either the Utah State game or Wisconsin of 2017. And I was nervous because in fall camp, I've got, I got hurt in fall camp. And then I was able to come back, missed the first couple of games. I came back and I was nervous because I was like, I'm going against Wisconsin. It's a big old line. And I just came off an injury. So it was, it was a crazy game. There was a Polynesian old lineman across the field. I think it was Samoan. And I'm Samoan as well. So he just, you know, we started having a conversation in Samoan. <laughs> and we was like, like, oos means bro in Samoan. So after every play, hey, good job, oos. You know, good job, bro. Like, oh, yeah. This guy's Samoan, man. This guy's cool. So, uh, You've had Zoe for a while, Kalani. Oh, man. Love this guy. This is, this is, uh, <laughs> I mean, I hope our fans understand uh, the adversity that he's been through, uh, even that 17th season to now. And then he's one of our best leaders and one of the best people I know. And so the, the, the uh, he's had he's had to battle through some injuries, and and, um, and I, I feel bad that he's sacrificing himself on, for the team. But uh, this guy's given his blood, sweat, and tears to this program, and uh, we that's on the field and then off the field. The stuff that he's done, he's He's improved a lot of lives and, and changed lives, and uh, you know I, I I couldn't be more thankful to have him uh, on our team. And uh, he's 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 a coach's dream when you get to coach type of people like this. And just Zoe's attitude, his, his positivity and optimism. I mean, uh, you can see he's got a wonderful smile. So he he lights up the room, you know. And and um, he's gonna have a lot of success in life. But I, I appreciate uh, the hard work that he puts in the, into the program and. Uh, even giving up his body for, for, for the team. And I hope he knows how much we love and appreciate him. You committed to Kalani after his first season as BYU's head coach. So his 2016 season was, was his first. And then in the, that winter, uh, you committed to, to BYU. What was it about uh, Kalani and the program that made BYU the place for you? Uh, first off, it was Kalani, Tuyaki, the coaches in general. It was, it was just that. And then uh, obviously the church. Um, grew up, family was big BYU fans, watched every single BYU game growing up. So that just to be offered by BYU growing up is like, dang, I, I used to watch these guys on the field. Now I'm, you know, I'm actually a guy that gets to go and represent my family where I'm from and represent the church as well. And that's something that Kalani always points out before every game or before like literally every Monday in a meeting, just like who we represent, not only is it just our families, but it's the church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the members that are in it, so. What's a Kalani home visit like? Oh, it was, <laughs> it's crazy because uh, back then there was Ty Detmer, there was Tuyaki, and uh, there was Kofusi, and then all my parents, you know, them big BYU fans, and, and back home you don't really get to, you know, see big, big names like that, that walks into your house. So when they walked in, they were like, oh, come, come, sit here. <laughs> you know, like just Polynesian parents, just like starstruck, but also, 
caring and loving. Just like, come sit down, water, food. You guys hungry? They fed us so it much. It wasn't even like. <laughs> yeah, it was like, uh, how are we gonna survive this? The onslaught of food. It was, it was a lot of fun. I wasn't even talking football. It was like, come in. Yeah. Wow, I remember when you threw the touchdown here. I'm like, oh, <laughs> they gotta talk to me yet? Well, they talk to <laughs> we we had a pretty good feeling that he was gonna come to BYU. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just intuition. Uh, lots of players in your recruiting class uh, are, are big pieces on the current team still. Uh, just a few names. Uh, Tyler Batty, Alden Tofa, uh, Ammon Hanneman, uh, Ryan Rico, Isaac Rex, <laughs> Dilo Mandel, Ben Bywater, uh, Mason Fakahua, uh, Joe yeah. Tukuafu. All part of your class back in 17. Yes, sir. Even Keelan Ellis. I can't forget. That's right. Yeah, Keelan true enough Ellis, from last year. So, yeah, all those guys. It's crazy because we all go through adversity and we all have been through adversity. And it's just like, even to this day, even though we've all been here for a while, like we look and like, dang, like we're still here. We made it. Mm -hmm. We're still pushing. So I'm glad to still be here with them. I mentioned you're in your sixth season of snaps, uh, but you haven't had that many Boise State games because you've actually, because of it, you've missed them the last two times. Yeah. So that you get to finally play Boise again. Yeah. Here. I know it's, the, the, uh, I haven't played them, I haven't beaten them at, like me personally, I haven't beaten them at Boise, but just watching the boys in 2020, beating them there, uh, coming here and then playing them again. You know, it's just, I just re kept, keep reflecting back to 2019. I'm like, dang, we beat them then, we can beat them this week. And you know, I'm like, we just, just a confidence builder for all of us. Yeah. Uh, Kalani, in terms of X's and O's, uh, what's the importance of, of Zoe uh, to your D-line? Well, Zoe keeps that D-line rolling and, and, and he, he's a, another, like a coach on, on the field and so, and we know we can play him at all the different spots. He's got the speed and athleticism to play at the end, but also can play tough football and be inside. So uh, the key is just uh, just having him. We just love having him on the team. And, and uh, he, he's really, really just sacrificing himself to be out there. And, and so I, we appreciate him. But, uh, you know, I, I want to make sure that, uh, I mean, he's got a lovely wife that's got to live with him for eternity. So we just make sure that, <laughs> that he's, uh, he's still safe out there, you know. And, but I... Uh, his value is just more than just what he does on the field. There's, there's a lot of things that he does as a leader that helps our program. Two-part question for you here before our break, Gazo. Um, did, you didn't play last week, right? Yes, I didn't play last. Yeah. Are you? How are you feeling? You good to go this week? Oh, good to go this week. 100%. Excellent. And then, uh, what do you do uh, to help the boys keep their heads up during this current slide? And and how do you? What do you think will will we'll take BYU get out, get BYU out of it? It's just basic. It's energy. You know what I mean? Like, especially when you're going through a slump like this, what we've been through. Just the energy that we have, just remembering the days where we were like we were winning, and just remember like, dang, we're really good. We're a good team that could win, and we have the we bring back the energy that we've had the past the the other games where we were winning. We bring that back this week, and we win. Once we win, it's it's there. Like that's that's what that's the message that's around energy, positivity, and just keep playing football. That's what we're here for to keep playing football. There's that word again, Kalani, positivity. Yeah, this guy lives it, man. So he's a great example for all of us and even me, you know, so I love having him around. 